Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be doing this video. It is long overdue though. It's, it's very, very long overdue. I want to do a first impressions on the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition. Listen, let me get in this light. High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. All right? And y'all going to be like, girl... I bought this December 30th of 2016. Never opened it. Never got around to it. <sighs> Y'all already know the reasons why. You know. I really took a long break from uh, YouTube and so on and so forth. And so be it. So anywho. With all that being said, I'm here now. And I'm going to give you my first impressions even though I know it's, it's not the newest thing on the block. But hey. Y'all ain't heard my impression of it. And I had to order this online because all the beauty supply stores I went to did not have it at all. They did have this. No. Yeah, they did have this, but I didn't buy it from there. I, I just went on and ordered it together. This is the... Is it going to focus? There we go. This is the LA Girl Pro Prep. This is the primer it says high definition smoothing face primer okay so i got this and i got this i ordered it from walmart.com um yeah i ordered it from walmart.com because they didn't actually have it in the store like i said i couldn't find it nowhere else physically to even test for my skin color match or anything so i winged it so this is a great possibility that this foundation color <laughs> ain't my color it might be a good summer color. I don't know if it's going to be. Y'all see me getting all, all hot and excited about it. It might be a good summer color. But I don't know if it's going to pass for my winter. So, oh my gosh. I'm just getting all. Honey, when y'all get to this point in your life. Y'all just don't know. But anyway, the color I have is uh, Rich Cocoa. It says GLM655. So, Rich Cocoa like so and then just like i said just going from this i don't know let me tell y'all about this la girl uh pro prep hey i like this like this is just a first impression y'all you know all, just based off a of first impression it feels great it looks like a silicone based uh silicone based primer you better focus there you go a silicone based primer it actually feels really good i don't want to waste nothing y'all it actually feels really good when i put it on my skin it feels really good y'all know how you got the maybelline um baby baby skin it feels better than that it feels better than the baby skin i thought i would never say that um and go against the baby skin but it feels good so now it says smoothing face primer the thing is y'all know I have a very oily t-zone and I don't know if this is oily girl friendly helps smooth and fill in fine lines and pores let's see paraben and fragrance free enriched with vitamin E so if you're oily oily girl comment or a combination skin girl I don't think this primer is going to be good by itself but what i would do normally i would take one of my other primers that is a mattifying primer sorry y'all excuse me and just put it in the areas where i know i would get oily but i'm not going to do that because for the purpose of this video i'm just sticking with la girl pro okay so now i'm shaking up this foundation Again, I've never tried it. I will say I do like the packaging. These uh these drugstore uh these drugstore beauty store brand foundations are I'm sorry y'all that tissue off it are are really stepping up their game. This reminds me of the this. Honestly it does. It reminds me of the makeup forever, okay? It, it really does. Y'all see that? This is Makeup Forever. This is LA Girl. It reminds me of that. But this is glass. Is this glass? 
Yeah, this is glass. A mess, y'all. This is plastic. Yeah, this is glass. I'm a mess. Anyway, so I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to apply it to half of my face first. And we're going to see what kind of coverage it has, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we're going to try to build it up. So I'm going to do one pump as soon as it pumps out. There we go. Well, I'm going to do poo. Two. Poo. Two. Two pumps. All right, so it looks like so. Y'all can see the consistency of it. It's, it's, it's a wet consistency. You see how it's running? Um, I don't know. Who knows about this color match? So we'll see. So I'm just going to dab. I don't know, y'all. I might be able to. I don't know, because I do have red undertones, but sometimes... A red can be too damn red. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see. And this foundation, let me see. It says illuminating. So it's not a mattifying. So it's going to make your skin illuminate. How about that? I'm looking for my foundation brush. I'm going to use this Real Techniques one. I was looking for my stipple brush though. Oh yeah, yeah. Now let me go ahead and go with this flat one. I'm gonna go with this flat one from from Elf. Let's see how it do. Okay. It's really oh god, y'all. It's really red. It's really red. I'm a, I wonder if it oxidizes. I watched a few videos on this, but this was like almost a year ago. Remember, I bought this in December of 2016. And it's December 2017 now, so. Man. So, let's see. I want to see if it's going to oxidize or anything. <sighs> Let me get up in here just to get the shape of my eye right here. And I just don't like how. <sighs> let's see. Let me change. Let me change brushes, y'all, so I can get up in my eye area like I want to. I will say this. This flat top from um <clears throat> from e.l.f. is really good for BB creams. I don't know why, but I just feel like it works better with BB creams. Y'all, oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, I'm just blending for life, making sure it's getting in the skin. And I can see the illumination already in it, because like I said, I'm used to mattifying foundations, and I know this is not a mattifying foundation. But, first impressions, uh, let me see, first impressions, it you gotta work. I will say, first impression is you have to work with this quickly, cause it does dry quickly, to me. And, and, you know, just for me, just from seeing me work with it now, to me, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work this quickly before it dries on you, and um, yeah. Now, y'all saw how red it was when I first put it on, um, but now look at it. You know, I did this half, this half right here. Huh. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Y'all think I can get away with this right now? You think this is a good color match that I can rock? In the, um... <laughs> in the winter time? You know? I'm not used to dewy. Um... What do y'all think? I'm going to sit back here. Let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. So y'all can really see what's popping. Hmm. Yeah. What do y'all think? Hmm. Alright. I think for a first impression... It's nice. I like it. I'm 
I think I paid like $6.99 for this. Um, first impressions, I like it. I don't even think it was $6.99. I think I got it for $6.49 or whatever. I didn't pay over seven dollars for this. Um it's nice though. It's really nice. And yes, it oxidizes, obviously. Cause y'all saw how red it was when I first put it on. It's been a few minutes and now now look at it. Look. And then you know here's my side without the makeup. Yeah. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's very interesting. So that was two pumps, y'all. Let me get one more pump, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the other side and see what kind of covers we getting with the first go around. Because y'all saw this side, y'all see I had I had the little dark dark spot where I had the breakout, and we're gonna see how well this Joker covers covers that. Okay, and y'all know I always talk about that little divot right there. All right, y'all. Now look before I start blending. Y'all see that redness? Let's get it. Let's go. Because I told you you got to work quick. Because it will dry up on you quickly. Quickly. And get that chin. Ain't this great? Look at this. Shit, y'all. Listen. Let me get the front view. Y'all see this? Looking like a Oompa Loompa for the first few moments. This shit oxidizes quick, dude. Because look at my face. Look at the half I already did. So... Watch this shit. I'm just gonna keep blending. Get up under that neck. Y'all see my little my little turkey neck right there? <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. Ain't nothing but a little bit of age. I'm still holding it down, baby. Still holding it down. Just looking at my mirror. Blending into my edges. Or oh, my hairline. Fuck, it's still edges. I got edges. Do you? But, um, yeah. So, while we're waiting patiently for this side to oxidize and catch up with my right side, hmm, okay. So, now, here's the face. As y'all can see, Y'all can still see a little bit of discoloration right here. And then you saw where I had that breakout right there. Just a hair. Just a hair. Or maybe more than a hair right here. But we're going to go with it's buildable. And I'm just going to dab like so. I don't want to do a whole nother pump. Let me just get a little thing. And then we're just going to go like that. And see if it's buildable. See how buildable it is. Because right now I'm just patting. I don't want to rub, rub, rub. Because I just want to get that coverage in that area I'm trying to cover. Hmm. Yeah. No full face today. This is just a first impressions video. Just to highlight this. Well, highlight this foundation. So, I come back with another layer. That covered up pretty good, but that little blemish right there, she okay. She okay. I like, I, I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to look too made up. If I got a little blemish that shows through, then let it show through and not look so makeup-y and cake up, caked up, okay? So, alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and proceed. I got my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee. This is like my favorite color to do my under eye with. My under eye highlight. So, I'm just going to give y'all a... Uh, what do you call it? LA Girl Pro Face? Is that what you want to call it? Yeah. And call it a day. 
so but yeah i wasn't too worried about going back over that blemish because i i knew i was gonna do this you know what i'm saying i knew i was gonna do this highlight so i'm gonna kim k this damn highlight today y'all uh, 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 uh. so yeah all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and finish my face pretty much off camera and then come back and show y'all the end results and then i'll let y'all know what time it is and then i'll come back and check in later after my night gig and y'all gonna see how this face held up 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 all right be back all right beautifuls i'm back here is the finished face well almost finished I, I gotta put my face powder on but this is the finished look um yeah i even highlighted and contoured with la girl pro concealers okay so y'all know the under eye highlight is toffee for the highlights here and here and around i used uh what are the two colors i used dark cocoa and chestnut so yeah so i even contoured with la girl pro concealers all right now um on my lip if anybody's interested what's on my lip is mariah carey and damn what is this color oh child mm, y'all know the eyeballs i get so i get so ocd that's what this is y'all remember this pretty kind of frost ish color but yeah that's what it is and y'all y'all know what i forgot that i actually picked up a finishing powder um when i got the foundation too it's the la girl pro face okay and it's the pressed powder the color i got is cocoa it's probably gonna be too dark but we're gonna do this la girl face y'all and then i'm gonna let y'all know I'll come back later and let y'all know how I'm feeling, you know, about this foundation, how it, how it lasted for the rest of the day and so on, so far. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We shall see y'all. So, I'm going to come down to the neck a little bit. The only thing I hate is I know when I go to this this second job, I know I'm gonna get warm and heat up, and I don't want my makeup to run, but it's gonna run. It's okay. It's gonna. Run. Well, I'll make sure I have my my dad dab dabber with me, so if I feel a little perspiration, I'm good. So beautiful. Oh, I ain't put no blush on, so maybe that's why I'm feeling kind of weird about that cheek area. Um, I don't have no LA Girl Pro blush, so we gonna go. Do they even make a blush? We're gonna go with Old Reliable, Old Faithful. We're gonna go with um Taraji. Highlight the truth. Okay. Didn't I just give it the right pop? Ha, <laughs> bitch. Y'all just don't know. If y'all ain't got this damn Taraji, I'm sorry. I don't even know if it's for sale anymore. I don't think Max sells it anymore. But I'm pretty sure if y'all go to Amazon.com or eBay, you can find it. Cause somebody probably bought a whole shitload just for the simple fact that they knew it wasn't gonna be a, it was gonna, wasn't gonna be available for uh it was only gonna be available for a certain amount of time. So for anybody who didn't have it or people who are running out, anyway, I hope Matt brings it back. Cause this is just or they need to make it a permanent color so black girl friendly so black girl friendly all right beautifuls it is 11 43 can y'all see that 11 43 i'll come back mm, i might come back before i go that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come back before i go to the night gig okay before i go to the night gig 
and y'all and i'll give my final impressions and thoughts and let y'all know how i i feel like it held up and all that good stuff in between yeah so be back y'all <laughs> yeah mm. Mm. la girl pro face okay yes. beautiful i am here i am back as promised i told y'all i will come up here before i go to my night gig so y'all can see how this makeup held up uh for the first few hours i've had it on now remember it was 11 43 when i first put it on it is oh excuse me it is 405 as soon as i show y'all oh this damn thing hold on this phone it is 405 can y'all see it there you go it's 405 and as you can see in the t-zone area i am very oily but that don't surprise me i knew that was gonna happen um like i said the primer itself is not oily girl friendly it don't say anything about mattifying or anything but it is a nice primer um i do love the way the primer feels the only thing is as you can see the rest of my face is fine the rest of my face is fine it's just right here right here right here you know my whole nose and mm, a little bit right here in the chin is very oily which hell i have an oily t-zone so by me not using anything mattifying on my face before I place this foundation on, it doesn't surprise me that the oiliness broke through. It don't look bad. Like, look. It don't look too bad. But it ain't... I, yeah, I, I just don't... This don't even look dewy. Okay, this just looks greasy. Alright? So, yeah, so... Is it long wearing, long lasting? Well, I can't say that. I only had it on for four hours, really. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for the four hours I had it on, but as you can see here, this is where it got oily the most. Like right here, right here. And, and that's where I normally get oily real bad. Like this right here and yeah, right there and of course the nose and this spot right here on my forehead and it just broke through so bad broke through so bad but the rest of the face is popping rest of the face is popping it's just that t-zone so for first impressions um like i said this uh prep the this pro prep primer it like i said it's, it's really good y'all like the skin feels smooth the skin looks smooth you know what i'm saying but what i would do i would put this on and then just in my t-zone area i would um place a mattifying primer for extra barrier and then pro I, I, I won't get this this horrendous breakthrough of um oil and shininess okay now as for the foundation, I thought the color match was going to be so wrong. I really did. Because I just saw how red it was. And I just automatically assumed it wasn't going to match well at all. The, like I said, the color is whoo, Rich Cocoa. If anybody's interested, the color I have is Rich Cocoa. It does oxidize. You guys saw how how red it goes on. How red it was on my face. I was looking like a oompa loompa. But you see, it oxidizes. It settles. And boom. Okay. And even if, if it was, even if it was off a little color wise you can save it beautiful you can save it it's all about how you contour how you bronze and you can you can save it you can save it but i didn't have to go through all that luckily so i'm happy with the color um again this is not an oily girl friendly foundation 
If you are a oily girl, I do not recommend this foundation. It says clearly, long wearing, illuminating, illuminating, and damn sure am I, I'm illuminating right now, illuminating foundation. So, again, but it's just crazy how the rest of the face is resting comfortably, but Lord knows I done had a breakthrough. Yeah, it's not the kind of breakthrough I really wanted though. <laughs> but, um, beautifuls. Um, but if you are, if you are an older girl, I won't tell you not to buy it. I just tell you to beware. This is illuminating, illuminating foundation. So that means you're just going to need a barrier. Again, if you use this primer, make sure you come back with a mattifying primer, especially in your, wherever you oily at. Me is my T-zone area. If it was the outer part, I would put it on the outer part. But mine is the T-zone area. Um, before you apply the foundation. Because you got two non-oily non girl friendly products on your face. So you need something to mesh in between these two non-oily girl friendly products. Alright. So, let's just see how well... It refreshes I have my I have my Clinique I have my Clinique um, blotter okay and this is just a little daily blotter you just you know take the sponge and dab and it just cleans up where you oily at okay so I'm just gonna do one half of the face and then come down here so y'all can see how good this damn Clinique works too, y'all. Because this damn Clinique ain't no joke. Alright. Like I said, I'm just doing the half of the face. Half of my T-zone. That's oily as hell. Uh, okay. Alright. So now. I just blotted with my Clinique. Uh, what do they call this thing? Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. Okay? That's what that is. So, see the difference? Can you see the difference? This is before, you know, after I blotted. No blotting. So, listen. Only thing I can say is if you really like this foundation and you like the coverage and everything... Keep your, especially if you are oily girl, keep your blotter. And I don't mean just take your powder, your face powder, and refresh. You really gonna, like if you are oily girl, you really gonna need some kind of translucent blotting powder. Whether it be that Rihanna blotter that she sells in her product line. Thank God I got this as a sample. And one of my, um, in my makeup bag from... I think it was Estee Lauder. I think. So there. So now. I feel like the face is refreshed. I'm not oily as hell. And boom. Alright. So overall. I do. Like the feel of this foundation. It's very lightweight. It is buildable. Okay. Um, buildable as much as you want to build it. Um, just depends on what kind of look you're going for. So I got the face powder from LA Girl Pro. Like I said, I feel like it's a little bit too chocolatey for me. But, I made it work. Let's see if y'all can, this is a, what is swatch it? I just swatched it. This is the swatch right here. It's a little too, I think it's a little bit too on the dark side for me. I might be actually use it as a contour. But I did use it to finish the face today. And it, it worked out well. I just didn't go heavy with it. Um, so I, I guess this color works pretty good too. This is cocoa. The setting powder is cocoa. So 
beautifuls i hope you enjoyed this first impressions video i was actually impressed by the product you know that's what a first impression is all about am i impressed or no nah? i was impressed i was impressed by the finish even when it oxidized it freaking impressed me because i like i said it was like a red alert baby just too red and um but it oxidized to a beautiful beautiful finish the finish is nice don't get me wrong the illuminating um dewy finish is nice but if you're an oily girl just keep it under control throughout the day y'all saw how horrible it broke through and i cleaned it up with the blotter keep a blotter with you and yeah you're good to go but if you're not an oily girl don't worry about none of that stuff i said go get the product try it out for yourself i i think it's worth every penny that i spent i didn't spend many pennies on it and it's it's really worth it y'all okay Skin feels good, looks good, and yeah, all right, y'all, I got to go. I got to go to this night gig. I will catch my beautifuls later. Deuces.